Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at file sharing in Maverick Server. And we're going to talk uh, today about how do you actually mount uh, these AFP shares or SMB shares that you've set up on remote computers. Uh, also kind of within your network and those that are remote. And then also I'll share a little bit of how you can auto mount some of these shares in case you've got a, a computer that you've got outside your network that you want to have certain file shares on your server automatically show up in the finder sidebar uh, every time that computer restarts. So um, I'm going to show you how to do both of those and uh, kind of walk through that process. Now if you remember from the other uh, screencast that I did on file sharing and if you haven't seen that yet you might want to watch that screencast before you watch this one. Uh, I talked about how to set up your various uh, folders and things for sharing. And so we walked through how to do that and how to set those, uh, those various shares up. And I, sh I showed you uh, using the music folder, for instance, let me just uh, show you that, how to set up these various uh, read-write uh, access and, uh, and who gets access and who gets read-write access. And I also showed you down here how to uh, check the various shares that you want to set up, whether that's SMB, AFP, or WebDAV. And just for a quick review, uh, SMB usually is a Windows uh, file share protocol, although Apple is uh, moving all of their shares over to the new SMB2 standard. Uh, which has uh, is starting with Mavericks. Uh, AFP is Apple's file sharing protocol, and so that's kind of the the classic that they've used. Although that's on its way out, uh, and may not even be in there potentially in the next uh, version of server. And then you have WebDAV, which is basically uh, what uh, Maverick server uses to share files with iOS devices. And so that's how, that's how those are set up. So you want to make sure if you're going to share a, 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 fo a folder, you want to make sure that it, you're able to share it over AFP uh, and SMB and that kind of stuff. So that's how we set that up. Let me just cancel that. So now that we've got that set up, uh, now what I want to do is let's talk about how do you mount these files. So let's say I want to... Uh, mount this file remotely. A couple of things uh, to remember based on our initial setup that we've talked about. Now if you're a uh, if you have a dot local uh, server then you can access your files all you want on your local network uh, and, but you cannot access them remotely uh, because you haven't set it up for remote access. If you want to access these files and things from a remote location you have to have either a dot private uh, address that you've uh, created yourself here in server or you have to have a .com, .net, you know, a registered domain name uh, that's out there on the internet. Now with .private if you want to access your file shares you'll have to use VPN to get in first before they'll actually uh, be available for you to mount. And I'm going to do a screencast on how to set up VPN here in the future but you just need to know that uh, so that you don't get frustrated if you try to do this uh, before setting that up. Uh, if you've got a registered domain name out there uh, on the internet then uh, you'll have no problem accessing these file shares uh, as long as again you have the right ports open and this is true for dot private as well. So one of the things you want to check before we get started is if you've got a airport base station uh, attached to the server uh, then basically uh, you want to make sure that you have the file sharing service uh, on here added as one of the settings because this is going to open the ports to allow you to access those file shares remotely. Uh, now for those of you that may not be uh, using an Apple uh, Airport Extreme Base Station, maybe you're using uh, a third-party uh, router, uh, then I'm going to put on the screen the ports that you need to open uh, in that router in order for you to allow remote access. And so you're going to want to uh, open up those ports using the software that came with your router so that you can get access to the file shares. Okay, that's very important. Otherwise, you'll be blocked out by the built-in firewall uh, of your router. Okay, let's go back here to file share. All right, so what I'm going to do now is show you how do we connect to these uh, with our uh, remote computers. So let me, I've got a screen share here. Let me pull that up with my laptop. And so here I am on my laptop in the, with a screen share. And uh, one of the easiest ways to do this on your local network, uh, if you're attached there, is just to go to your server under the shared area over here. And basically you can uh, do a connect as. See right now all I see is the public folder of the server. But if I do a connect as, uh, then this comes down and I can connect as uh, a user that will allow me to access that. So let me just put in those credentials. Okay, here I am. Uh, got everything plugged in. So all I got to do now is click connect. And now you can see I'm, I'm connected to the server. You can see down here on the network, there's the server. You can see all of the different shares that I have on the server that I have access to. 
And again, I'm doing this locally, uh, so it's easy for me to do in the sidebar. And then all I've got to do, if I want to connect to one of them, like let's say the music folder, for instance, all I got to do is double click on it. And here I am connected. I can see what's in that folder. Uh, you notice up here, it shows that the music folder is a network share. You can also see that down here. And you see the little eject button, which shows that I am connected to the server itself. Uh, so it, it, it's a really easy way to be able to connect to those things. And if I wanted to, I could go to my devices here, and you can see, there it is. There's the music uh, share right there uh, showing attached to uh, my laptop that I'm using uh, for the screen share. So that's one of the easier ways to, uh, to go ahead and connect that way. Uh, there's a couple of other ways that you can do it. Uh, there's at least one more. Let me just uh, eject this for a minute. Okay, so let's, uh, let's assume now that you want to connect uh, to your server remotely. So you're not on your local network. So basically, you won't see your server over here in the sidebar. Uh, so you can't do that because Bonjour isn't working uh, when you're remote. And, but you still want to access your file shares. Now to do that, what you need to do is come up to the, uh, get into a Finder window. So you've got the Finder up here on the toolbar. And click Go. And then come down and click Connect to Server. Or as you can see, the shortcut is Command K. And that will bring up this connect to server window. Now, in order to uh, connect to your server, then you want to put in uh, AFP, if that's what you're using, or you could put SMB. In this case, I'll just use AFP. Uh, AFP and then your server's address. So it would look something like this. You put an AFP colon with two backslashes, and then you put your server's uh, domain name that we set up, server dot, and then all, all your information, example.com or whatever it is that you put, uh, or if it's dot private. Remember, if you VPN first to make that work. And then you just click connect. And what it'll do is it brings up this connect to server window right here. And again, you need to put in your uh, credentials as a registered user to be able to connect. So let me do that. Okay, now once all my credentials are in there, I just click connect. And now what it'll do is it'll ask me which volume I want to mount. So again, it's showing me all the volumes again, but which one do I want to mount? And I can just click, let's say music. Click OK. And now there we are again. See, we're into the music folder. I mean, the music file, you can see that it's a file share. There's the same folders and information in there. If I come to my devices, you can see that it's mounted right here. So that's how you would mount those things remotely uh, every time you want to mount them. Again, in order to do that, you've got to have a dot .private where you VPN'd in, or you need to have uh, a registered domain name, uh, again, with the right ports open for both of those so that you can get through and make that work. So that's how you would mount those things, a pretty simple way to do it. Now, what if you wanted it to mount the same folder every time you started up? So you, you didn't want to have to you know, go through the process of connecting to it because you might forget, but you wanted to make sure that it showed up all the time. Well, there's a, there's a simple way that you can make that work, and uh, let me just show you how it happens. So what you want to do is go into System Preferences. So we're going to pull System Preferences up here. And you want to go into Users and Groups. Now on here, you want to go over to your login items, and all you're going to do, if you just look at the login items, these are all of the things that start up automatically uh, when you actually start up your, your computer. And so it just shows all the different applications that will come up. All you need to do is take this uh, file share here and just drag it into this window and add it uh, to that, okay? And so you can see I've added it right here. Now what will happen is now is every time I restart my computer, it's going to automatically mount uh, this uh, music folder. Uh, it's gonna look for my server. It'll do it remotely or it'll do it locally. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but it will always look for that particular folder and automatically mount it for me and uh, get it right onto, into the Finder, just like you see it now. So that's a really quick, easy shortcut way to do it. Uh, there are other ways that you can do it as well through um, through work with Profile Manager. And so when we get to Profile Manager, I'll show you how that works because you could do it with profiles. But if you wanted to do it real simple and quick, that's the easiest way to have that thing auto mount and then it'll automatically come up every time you log in. All right, so let me just uh, get rid of this right here. So that's all I have for this week. Uh, hopefully that helps you understand how to mount your file shares and really just set up uh, one of the core things that many people have a server for. But I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.